really don't want him to get any closer than this, to be honest. Let's have a crack. Uh oh. I didn't panic, I swear. I knew it was all part of the plan. All part of the plan. What's up, people? Mr. Blackout here. How you doing? How you been? Day three, my friends. Day three. And we're all packed up, all ready to go. It's been fun living on this little hill, man. Hell of a view from up here, I tell you what. One last look before we head out. Kraken Rope Bridge, inbound. Take it easy, Renaki highs. the little T-junction. And uh, crack and rope bridge. Renaki highs we just came from. Renaki. We'll park it up right here. That way, you know, I mean, I gotta take something out down here at the bridge, so we don't want to scare everything off. And I think, I, I want to say the ATVs scare everything in like 300 meters. I don't know. All right, on foot we go. Fair amount of animals, though. <laughs> Footprints everywhere. What's this? A lure. About the black bear. Black bears have good eyesight, and experiments have shown they're able to learn visual discrimination tasks based on color faster than chimpanzees and as fast as dogs. They are also capable of rapidly learning to distinguish different shapes, such as small triangles, circles, and squares. Ah. The more you know. We are in bear country still. <laughs> this is going to be some info about the bridge right here. Another 100 XP as well. The Kraken Rope Bridge was built to cope with the swampy areas when the water was elevated. It is even more of a necessity now that the water has receded. So it was e the water was super high, I guess, at some point then, yeah? And now it's not. This looks so cool. This kind of makes me think of Indiana Jones. I don't... Maybe that's just because I'm an 80s kid. Anyone else? I mean... The, the Indiana Jones ones looked way more sketchy than this. <laughs> this looks pretty damn stable. To be honest. This is really cool, man. That's what I like about this game. It's just the immersion with wandering around like this and discovering how detail, detailed the map is. How much effort and time they must have put into this. I can appreciate that. Some good views from over here. So we're supposed to snipe something off of here from like 200 meters. Oh, what's that? I can't... It's like blurry. It won't focus. The, it looks like a bear though. The binoculars won't focus. Maybe if we stand all the way to the rail. Uh, it's weird, like I go below and you see unfoc... Oh, there we go. It's a hard level six. That's a pretty decent sized bear, man. It's a fair distance. It's a shame we can't really shoot off of the bridge though. I mean, it seems a bit funky with just the zoom on the binoculars, so I'm imagining it's gonna be pretty bad trying to shoot this thing off of here as well. 
Luckily, the we can just be within the vicinity of the bridge. What we're going to do though is we'll throw a um, we'll throw a tent, the tent down that we have in our backpack. We'll throw that down right over here, and we'll swap and get the 7mm region. And um, I think that's that's a correct gun. Place this down, and we can also get rid of our backpack, and we won't be as visible and deafening to the animals, which is a really good thing when you're hunting. All right. I haven't really shown you guys the 7mm yet. 7mm region. It's a... The hell? The bloody squirrels and rabbits. <laughs> they do that on purpose just to scare the shit out of you. I swear they do. Um, yeah, I haven't really shown you this gun yet. It's a lot of fun to use. It's another single shot rifle, uh, like the 338, 338 Rangemaster. Um, but it's ethically correct for the bears, which I just found out recently. I was shooting the bears with the 270 Huntsman, and then I started using the 7mm and noticed I was getting 100% integrity on them, which is really important if you're going for those high scores, you know? I mean, if you're just going around willy-nilly doing whatever you want, then, you know, more the power to you. But, I mean, well, I'm, I'm competitive by nature. Is that the same bear now on the left? That's a different bear. Is the other bear still there? It is. Oh, man. Um, in case you didn't know, if you take shots from over 200 meters away from the animals, they won't know where the shots come from and they won't spook. Um, unless they're in the same group. If they're in a herd together, then they tend to vibe off of each other. So if one drops right before another one, you know, it kind of spooks the herd a little bit. And then if you drop another one after that, they'll bounce. Uh, but bears tend to be by themselves. So we'll take a crack it. Crack at the harder one first. We're going to try and spine shot them because it's our best option at this distance, really. Oh, man, he... Turned his face into that. I do hope the 7mm is ethically correct, because that bear dropped. I mean, it might have been a heart, or it was spine. I don't know, for a second I thought it was a little low for the spine. Let's try this one. See, I mean, that looked good for a spine shot, but man, the 7mm feels so strong on the bears. Again, maybe it's just because I'm used to the 270. Well, two shots. That was, that was pretty clean right there. <laughs> Wish we could have done it off the bridge. We'll check the female out. Yeah, it was a thoracic spine, 100% integrity, like I said, the 7mm. I was a little worried about it for a second there, I was like, man. Here's the big boy. I think the levels go up to 9 with the bears, and this was a level 6. Hard. Uh, another thoracic spine shot. Again, 100% integrity as well. Crazy. I don't know, it just feels strong, man. Good money with the bears, too. Really good money. We can just see it on the left. Every time I go to look at it, it gets all blurry. And I don't know about you guys, but whenever you look at anything blurry, it just makes me blink. Trying to reset my eyes, when really it's not my eyes. So we're just going to go down to our little sniper perch again. Luckily, they allow this, and we don't have to snipe it off at the bridge, because that'd just be a pain in the ass, with that railing right there. But this is ideal. We just make sure they, the uh, the buck is over 200 meters, and we should have this in the bag. Lay down at this spot. I love this little perch right here, man. Okay. It's a really good-looking buck, though. I'm not quite sure what level the black tails go up to. This is a level 3. So we'll take it out with the 243 Ranger, the ethically correct rifle. 
And it's in sort of the perfect position as it bends down for food there. We've seen this kind of shot before already. Awesome, man. All right. Well, that should be mission accomplished. This is a really sweet spot, though. This is why I like doing the missions. They bring you to really cool places. And there he is. Thoracic spine shot, right where we were aiming for. It's a pretty good scoring buck right there. Bunch of XP, bunch of money. That's another great reason to do these these missions and the side missions is for the money and the XP, just to boost up your equipment a lot faster than just doing regular hunting, you know? Like you can do hunting as well as gaining a bunch of XP from these missions. This place has been freaking awesome. I've enjoyed hunting over here though. Uh, it's good to know that the views that you can get down here into the swamps. Speaking of swamps, Richard wants us to go to a swamp area. Makes me think of Swamp Thing. Anybody else think about... Maybe it's just the 80s kids. Remember Swamp Thing? We'll go um, pick up the quad here at the T-junction. We'll pick up the tent and then we'll pick up the quad. And we'll drive over to see if Swamp Thing's over in the swamps. But actually, what do we actually do <laughs> in the swamps? I know we're not hunting for Swamp Thing. Um, we're supposed to take out two white tails from inside a deer stand, basically. Roger that, Richard. Ricky boy. I'm gonna start calling him Ricky boy. Maybe he won't like that. I do know this, though. Every avid camper, everybody that loves to go camping, would love also to be able to pack a tent up as quick as I can pack a tent up. I'm a professional at packing these tents. Just click of a finger. There you go. Let's roll, Barry. <laughs> I wish it was that easy, man. Oh my god. Packing the tent's the worst. Time to hit the road again. Even though it's supposed to be a footpath. Don't tell anyone. We'll be careful. Won't we, Barry? Uh-huh. We'll put our headlights on. There we go. Now they can see us coming. miss this. Uh, the bomb up on our ship in harbor is safe, but that is not what ships are built for. <laughs> John Augustus. Okay. Roger that. That's very poetic. Very, very poetic. We're almost there. We're going to stop at the outpost just south of the region we're supposed to go into, and we'll drop off the backpack and quad and get into our usual. We've got to check this out, too. But Let's stay on track. It's so easy to get off track in this game. We're staying on track. There we are. Very nice. We do have most of these outposts unlocked. This one included. All right. Let's get this backpack off. All right. I registered. I'm a registered hunter, hired by numerous people, including Richard Hope. So the mission, uh, uh, 
Harvest two white-tailed deer downed from a hunting stand. Very specific, Richard. Alright. I've got this, though. Because we haven't been here before, we've actually got to build it. It's going to... You've got to be careful not to build these in the beginning, because they cost 2100 and in the beginning, you don't have any money, and you're like, oh, what's this? <laughs> and you build it, and you're like, oh, I'm broke. Oh. Uh, it's a doe. I don't think we have to take out a male. So, for science? Just the sound of it makes me feel wet and cold. Moist. <laughs> Shot through the heart. Remember, oh, I tell you what though, I've definitely been getting more heart shots recently. Now that you kind of learn the anatomy. The more you hunt the animals and you see the x-rays. Um, should we take a, let's take a walk down this path. Got a bear sitting on his bum. And we do have the 7mm with us still. Let's take a crack at the bear. It's like 1200, I think you get about 1200 bucks. <laughs> Definitely one of the easier shots to take on bears when they're just sitting on their bums facing away from you. Makes it a really easy spine shot. And again, the 7mm feels really strong on the bears. Not as big as the one as one of the ones we got earlier. That male that we got earlier was a lot bigger. The males are always going to be bigger. The trophies, I don't really pay attention to the trophy scores so much as the actual final score. But again, you get great money with the bears. Decent XP. They're always worth trying to take it out. It's a shame this isn't another hunting stand. It means there's only one in this region, but I'll still take the free XP. Uh, about the white tail, the white tail shit. Oh yeah, I didn't know this until I started playing this game that some deer, like the white tail, actually shed their antlers during certain parts of the year and regrow new ones. I I had no idea. I thought whenever you saw antlers, it was just from like, you know, a carcass or something like that. So, yeah, the more you know, man. I've learned quite a few, few new things in this game about animals, which has been a pretty cool thing. So we've got to head back to this other deer stand because it's the only one in the region <laughs> that I'm supposed to be in. I thought that other question mark was going to be, you know, this question mark right here was going to be one, but oh well. Sneaky, sneaky. This coyote's got to be getting really close by now. There he is. <laughs> I don't want to headshot it. But don't they look so cool though? I love the way their ear is, Ben. But yeah, man, I love the way when the coyotes are walking around, the way they look with their ears. Left lung, right lung, double lung. It's a female, so not a very big one. Pretty good money again, though. You can hear, the, like, the... You can hear the little light thudding. He's getting close, though. He's getting really close. <laughs> Had to be a direct heart shot right there. 
I've learnt my lesson since we were hunting the bears up on day two. I've learnt my lesson with the anatomy of the bears and I've got a pretty defined location of the heart for myself now. And that's what I tend to go for unless it's a long shot and then I'll go for spines. But isn't that a cool looking fur type? It's all glossy and stuff as well when you walk up to it. The cinnamon, cinnamon. When you try and say cinnamon too many times too fast. Cool man, I've got a nice picture of that. It's a smallish female heart shot like we wanted. Um, don't get that highest scores for the females, but it's cool seeing the fur type though. And again, bears, decent money, as always. It's kind of like deja vu, to be honest. This is exactly how the first one came in. And we're about to get number two. Oh, she can smell me. Sweet. That should be mission number two accomplished. Pretty perfect. <laughs> Would have been nicer to see a buck come through for sure, but still though, I'm sure we'll get a decent amount of money for completing this mission. Thank you, Mr. Hope. Straight in the heart again. How many heart shots have we got today? I feel like we've hit things in the heart quite a few times. Still some sun out though. Let's go see if we can find some big bucks or something before we finish it up. If I was playing on the Siberian map right now, I probably wouldn't have never have seen it. Because this thing would blend in so well. But on here, on this Leighton Lakes, it stands out like a sore thumb. <laughs> uh, I think this is about as close as we're going to get. And we'll take a shot on it here. But man, it's so cool that we got a male rare fur type this time. Uh, day two, we got the piebald female blacktail. And now we got a male whitetail. We'll try and get a heart shot here right through the leg. Nice. Awesome. What a way to finish another hunt day. <laughs> so lucky. Man, red eyes and everything. This thing would have been crazy to see on the Halloween missions. Albino male. Man. And a gold as well. We've got that heart shot. Well, we're not going to top this for the day, are we? <laughs> well, my friends, I do hope you enjoyed the hunt today. Before I go, quick question. Do you want to see the German reserve or the Siberian reserve in day four? Let me know in the comments. I love you long time. Adios. I, okay, uh, we're not going any further than this. Hold. Hold. Oh, I'm uh, still on. <laughs> oh, shit. That's cool. Right. And we got an artifact, dude. Oh, uh, what? God yeah. damn it. Why you gotta kill yourself? Gravity though? defeated That's you, bro. <laughs> nice, I got a level up. 200. Right. That's gotta be at least 200 XP. 200? What the heck? Man, this place Yo, is amazing. Man, I told you, man. I told you. Look at this. Yo, oh, whoa. Would kill us. That would kill us. The demo, this I got a new spelunking hole for you. <laughs> 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 Who looked at this and was like, dead up? <laughs>